Hello everyone, in this video I will be comparing two mid-range routers that are the most sold routers these days. The first one is the Asus RT AX58U or the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router. And the second one is the TP-Link Archer AX55 which is also the AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 router. In my comparison, I will be covering the following aspects. First, I'm going to be talking about the specifications, the ports and the connections of each router. Then, I'll be talking about the features that each router offers, especially the features that are free and the features that are paid, and the most important difference in these features. And also, I'll be covering, of course, the speed test, including an internet speed test where I'll be overloading my internet with TVs streaming 4K and iPads streaming like YouTube videos and so on, so that you see how each router will still manage the internet and network traffic when it is loaded. And I will also be performing a range test for each router and at the end I'm gonna give you a summary and what router should you choose. So let's start first by the specifications, the ports and the connections of each router. So here I zoomed in that you see each router up close. This is the TP-Link and this is the Asus router. Specification wise, both routers are Wi-Fi 6 as I said. Both routers have also the 160 MHz channel which is very important. And both routers are AX3000 so the aggregate speed of each router is 3 gigabits per second. And also both routers have one WAN port that is a gigabit WAN port and four LAN ports that are gigabit LAN ports and both routers have a USB 3.0 also connection so you see it here on the TP-Link and it is here on the ASUS also. And the one difference specification wise between the two routers is that the ASUS has a tri-core CPU whereas the TP-Link has a dual core CPU only so the ASUS is a little bit faster in this sense. So specification wise, the ASUS wins it by a slight margin, but this is not to say that the TP-Link has not good specifications. Let me talk now about the features of each router and I'm gonna start by the features that are similar. So both routers have OFDMA, which manages the internet traffic better and the traffic on the network also better. Both routers have MuMimo. Both routers have guest networks also. And both routers also has some parental controls. But the features comparison ends here because the ASUS has many, many, many other features <laughs> than the TP-Link. And I'm gonna list these features. So first off, the guest network of the ASUS, you can configure up to six guest networks on the ASUS. Whereas on the TP-Link, you can configure two, one on the 2.4 gigahertz band and one on the five gigahertz band. And on the ASUS, of course, also, 3 on the 2.4 GHz band and 3 on the 5 GHz band. Having multiple guest networks will permit you to have, for instance, time limits for a guest network as opposed to other guest network or also like a security authentication that is different from the other guest network depending on who is the guest at your house. So this is here a better feature in the ASUS and also the ASUS has all parental controls and all security features that are free. So you have very granular parental control features on the ASUS, like you can put many schedules, bedtime, off time, and also you have many security features that are all free, you don't have to pay any subscription. So on the TP-Link, the parental control and the security features are basic, so the basic ones are free, but the pro ones, like the ones that to go to the level of the ASUS or maybe a little bit less also, they are paid. So you have to subscribe to the Home Shield Pro Protection Plan to get these features. And this is something, frankly, that I don't like. So this is like a honeypot. They will give you an attractive price on the router. But then when you get the router, you see that you cannot use all the features unless you pay a subscription. And this is, in my opinion, not a good thing. Also, for the ASUS, it has many more granular features and configurations for the Wi-Fi network. So this might be overwhelming for some users that are not like tech-savvy users, but if you leave them by default, it will work nevertheless. 
But if you need more granular control on the Wi-Fi network, it's good to know that the ASUS has you covered on this. But this is not a big advantage in my opinion for the average home user because the TP-Link features are enough for the Wi-Fi. And also for USB sharing, the ASUS gives you also the possibility to configure your printer on the USB port, whereas the TP-Link doesn't have this feature. Also, for the usage application of both routers, the ASUS has more features than the TP-Link. So both routers can be used, of course, as a Wi-Fi 6 router, and both routers can be used as an access point. But the ASUS also can be used as a repeater, it can be used as an AI mesh mode where you can put two routers apart and they can work simultaneously together to give you the best internet coverage and also it can be used as a media bridge. Also, one last thing about the features is that the ASUS will permit you to configure the security and the parental controls from its web interface and not only from the application whereas the TP-Link it will only permit you to configure the home shield from your smartphone and this is also like a limitation for the configuration of the TP-Link. So now let's go to the next step of our comparison which is the speed test. I have an internet speed of 120 megabits per second and the first test I'm doing here is that I'm performing a speed test without loading my internet connection and as you see both routers perform very well here and they are providing 140 megabits per second each one. The second test I'm doing here is that I loaded my internet so I have two TVs streaming 4k movies, I have two iPads streaming videos and also I have my Amazon Echo playing music and here you see that the TP-Link is providing only 95 megabits per second whereas the ASUS is providing here 110 megabits per second and I repeated this test multiple times and each time I got almost the same result. The next test I'm doing here is that I'm copying a large file from the USB key that is plugged in the router's USB port and this USB key is very fast. It is a SanDisk Extreme Pro so in no way it will be a bottleneck for the copying and here as you see the ASUS is really providing much more speed than the TP-Link it is providing almost double the speed at 67 megabytes per second whereas the TP-Link is providing only 35 megabytes per second and this test here is that I'm copying the same large file this time from the PC to the router of course to the USB key that is plugged in the router's USB port and here also the ASUS is much faster than the TP-Link it is providing 50 4 megabytes per second speed whereas the TP-Link is providing 30 megabytes per second and here I'm testing the speed by copying a file from a PC to another PC on the LAN and both PCs are connected to the LAN with a Wi-Fi 6 card and here you see also that the ASUS is having a little bit of edge over the TP-Link whereas it is providing 70 megabytes per second whereas the TP-Link is providing 59 megabytes per second. So now I am performing a range test. So this is a basic range test. I live in an apartment building and I went out of my apartment to the stairwell and here it is about 50 yards from my apartment and just before the routers cut I tested the internet speed and both routers here provided around 17, 16 megabits per second just before they cut. As a summary, I'm going to say that the ASUS wins on all fronts. It has better specifications where it has a tri-core CPU as opposite to the dual-core CPU of the TP-Link. It has better features and all the features are free. And it has also better speed, so it is faster than the TP-Link, whether you're copying from the USB port of the router or whether you're copying files over the LAN or even if your internet is congested. So if you have many devices on the internet, we saw that the ASUS still gives you an edge over the TP-Link. The only case where you might choose the TP-Link, in my humble opinion, over the ASUS, is that because the TP-Link is more budget friendly. But for me, I will go with ASUS every day. Let me know in the comments below what router would you choose and what is the reason of your choice. By the way, I have Amazon affiliate links for both routers in the description. I will gain a small percentage if you make a purchase using my link at no cost to you.
I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and it will help the channel greatly, and this way you'll not miss any future videos I make. I want to thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video.